young is just a small community here, unincorporated. We sat under the Muggy on Rim. We're located about 150 miles out of Phoenix, about an hour and a half, two hours to Globe. We're 63 miles from Payson. Real pretty, in my opinion. Seems to be one of the last places in Arizona. What makes it special for me is just the countryside that I was raised up as a kid. I lived uh, kind of a Tom Sawyer type life here in the creeks. The town itself, the way we're kind of sprawled out, it's open. We have dirt roads coming in to, to Young from both the ends. I'm a country boy, raised here all my life. My whole ambition in life was to get back to Young and live here, and I accomplished that. This building was built uh, late 90s, first part of, of 2000, and there was two office buildings that sat below, below here, down, down the hill a little ways. They were built in the 60s. At the time, the, the district had a lot of people working here, and then the district seemed to just kind of dwindle down to where we are today. And anymore, we've lost that continuity between this district and town. So that's all changed, and that took a pretty big hit on this valley. If we can obtain it and this property and stuff, it'll bring employment back into this valley, and it'll help with the economy. So there were some places in the floors inside that you could see some cracks and some walls that cracked out. And I would imagine with proper care and maintenance, it'll last a long time. I came to the Forest Service, the district ranger that was here, and I was looking for a, a local office that we could have here in Young. And so I talked to her about possibly having an IGA set up with one of these offices in this building because there wasn't many people here. Well, the conversation what it led to was, well, we don't want to rent you an office, but we'll rent you the whole building. Their foreseeable plan was to take and try and auction off or sell some of these buildings, and then whatever was left, they were just going to bulldoze and haul out. And so if that would have been the case, this building and some of the other ones you're going to see today would be gone. All that would be cleared back up, and it'd be turned back into grass. I don't want to talk about that. The facilities are here. And uh, the opportunities are unlimited. I mean, we could have archery ranges, we could have trails that could hike. The community is, is not for tearing any, anything down here. They've seen the money that's been put into this admin site from a taxpayer standpoint. They see the value in it. We started leaning towards veteran programs and uh, services, in which our town has a lot of vets in it. We're tight net. We are all, we all back each other. I mean, it's anything to do with vets, they're about, we back each other on it. Uh, we're, like you say, a pretty nice. Authorities to transfer and air, ownership on lands is there. It's a matter of getting the coordination between everybody and getting it all set down and, and, and figured out. Uh, I've, I've come a long ways in that process so far. Well, if you've ever been in the military and you depend on your buddy that's beside you, that's kind of the way the tightness is here. We depend on each other. We work together. So one of the prospects we're looking at is veteran re retreats. It would mean the world to me because uh, being a veteran myself and having a place that you know that you could go to and the camaraderie and 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 uh, just be secure in the fact that you've got a place you could go to and people you could talk with. You know, if you have a problem, that we could have a local place here that we could have maybe a staff on hand that could help people out. And then. The process is going to have uh, another part of it is to um, create legislation to actually do a property transfer, and that's going to take the time. You know, that's that's where that's where we're looking at maybe a couple of years, you know, or or maybe longer. And in which case, we can't wait that long because currently the Forest Service, and if you ask them, they'll tell you. I mean, it's no secret they don't have the money to put into facilities maintenance and upkeep. So they, they can't do it. And so, so that's where I'm wanting to step in now, take that part over, take all this over, keep all that going and keep it up, and also start putting our programs together. If we had a place like this, this would be a place they could come to and be welcomed with open arms and to assist them in any kind of problems that they have. So it means a lot to me and the rest of the veterans here in, in the Valley. It's kind of a shame we've come to the point where we have with this. And, and to me, this is just a huge way we can try and keep it intact and repurpose it for what's here, because there's a ton of money put into all these buildings. And I feel like it's, a, it's gonna be a huge plus for the community. It would just benefit us in, 
eventually to be able to have a place, a hub place to work out of. We've got an agreement out of the state of Washington um, that fits this perfectly. And they did basically the same thing up there. They're about three steps ahead of us. So we're looking at that agreement and, and have to change a few things in it, but not much. So it's already been through the lawyers, it's been through everything, and so it's pretty well ready to go. The biggest thing I need is, I, I just need the Forest Service to come to the table with me on this. People could come up, just get the things off their mind or bother them, you know, and, and, and just a retreat to come to and, and relax and enjoy themselves. It would really be good to see that happen. It would just be emotional for me. It's hard to answer that because to see that happen would just be fantastic. It would be actually what our goal is and what we're looking forward to and uh, helping the vets out. Is to know that we've made it that far, that we've got something in place that's going to be a huge benefit for a, a lot of people, not just from here, but all over Arizona or wherever, um, it, it would be a really good deal. I'd feel really good about that, and I hope that's the case.